Let's draw an equilateral triangle. It has to be exactly 50 pixels long on each side. Now use another loop to draw three of those triangles right next to each other. You can nest the code from your last puzzle inside. A variable is a container that you can store a value in. When you use that variable in an algorithm, it opens up the container and looks at the value inside. This lets you write smarter algorithms that behave differently depending on the value stored in the variable. For example, if you wanted to write an algorithm to say, happy birthday, you're turning 10, to my little brother, that's great now, but when I run it next year, I'd want it to say, happy birthday, you're turning 11. I could create a variable called age to store my brother's age and write my algorithm to say, happy birthday, you're turning age instead. Because variables can change, each year I can update the variable age to equal age plus one. In this puzzle, we're going to be using a variable that will set the length of the line our artist draws. Later on in our code, the move forward block will look at that length variable to see what value you've set it to. We have set the variable length to 50. What will happen when you click run? The artist will draw a triangle with 50 pixel sides. The artist will draw a 50 sided polygon with 3 pixel sides. The artist will draw 3 open sides with 50 degree turns. I don't know. Before things get tricky, can you move the length of 50 into a variable so we can use it in the next few puzzles?
Now, use the length variable to have the artist jump forward and down by length pixels between triangles. Add another set of loops at the end of your code to add three more triangles. This time, move forward and up. Oops! We actually need the triangles to be 60 pixels wide, with 60 pixel jumps. Aren't you glad you're using a variable?
Use what you've learned to build this design where the squares have 80 pixel sides and the artist jumps 80 pixels over and down between each one.